Uh, this is the first stage in the dust reduction process. Uh, we're addressing the, the, the loose dust that's on the surface first of all. And we're doing this with um, a gentle air blower and with uh, special brushes and uh, under magnification as well. So our aim here is just to remove the loose material that's not bonded onto the surface. So we're going down through different layers of the problem, if you like. In this area here, I'm dealing with a, a quite good area painting, good condition. There's no flaking here. And of course, we have to assess that situation. If you look across here, you can see a network of cracks. So we have to be really careful in working around those cracks. So it will vary from square centimetre to square centimetre. The, the changes are subtle, but they are there and they're gradual and we build them up with the next stage of treatment. And there is a problem with this technique because we're we run the risk of redepositing the dust. We're not removing it entirely from the painting. So then we have to go in in a second step and address remaining dust that's on the surface. So these materials are absorbent tissue papers and a sponge. And then we're using a solvent mixture, dabbing through this material in order to draw the dust and deposits through from the painting. So a lot of work and investigation has been done to, to be as certain as possible that these materials are not going to harm the painting. And the aim here is to absorb dust into this layer and we capture it and remove it.